Hi, this is Teacher Jennifer from U.S. Citizenship Podcast. Every week we bring you practice interviews, quizzes, resources, and the latest news that help you get ready for your U.S. Citizenship interview. Today we're going to have a citizenship quiz in honor of All Saints Day and the Day of the Dead. All Saints Day and the Day of the Dead are part of a three-day festival that remembers the lives of those who passed before us. Let's get started. Janet Reno served in President Clinton's cabinet as the first U.S. Attorney General. Question. What are two other cabinet-level positions? Question 2. As an astronaut, John Glenn became the first American to orbit the Earth. Later, he served as U.S. Senator from Ohio. Question. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Question 3. Edwin Benson was a teacher and last speaker of the Mandan language a tribe that hosted Lewis and Clark during their mission to explore territory bought from France. Question. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Question 4. Houston Smith was an American religious scholar and author. In 1990, the Supreme Court ruled that the use of peyote as a religious sacrament by the Native Americans was not protected under the U.S. Constitution. With Smith's help in 1994, Congress passed the American Indian Religious Freedom Amendment, which gave legal protection to a religious practice that the Supreme Court had decided lacked constitutional protection. Question. What is freedom of religion? Question 5. Ken Starr was a historian and California State Librarian. Like Benjamin Franklin, Starr was a writer and published nine books on the history of California, six of which are part of his Americans and the California Dream series. Question. What is one thing that Benjamin Franklin is famous for? Question 6. Norma McCorvey was a political activist and plaintiff in the U.S. Supreme Court case Roe v. Wade, in which the Supreme Court ruled that individual state laws banning abortion are unconstitutional. Later, she became a pro-life activist. Question. What does the judicial branch do? Question 7. Annie Felo Mageva was a Vietnam War vet and served as the American Samoan delegate to the U.S. House of Representatives. Question. Name your U.S. representative. Question 8. In 1951, Lily Mae Bradford was arrested because she challenged a racist bus driver who overcharged her for a bus fare. In 2006, the Rosa Parks Act allowed activists who had been arrested to request a pardon. Although clearing her arrest record wouldn't have had a real effect, Bradford applied for a pardon. I want to have it removed, frame it, and put it on the wall, Bradford said. It will show that I was arrested for fighting for my rights. Question. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Question 9. Thomas Fleming was a writer and historian who published many books about the people and events of the American Revolutionary War. Question. Why did the colonists fight the British? Question 10. 
with the financial support of the now legal defense and education fund rita henley jensen founded women's e-news an online news service for all women and newswire for commercial media jensen inspired thousands of women to use the power of the internet to speak their truth question what are two rights of everyone living in the united states Thanks to the students and staff of Milpitas Adult School, a special thanks goes out to those who went before us this year. Please visit us on the web at uscitizenpod.com. While you're there, check out our link to the new free online citizenship preparation course, USA Learns Citizenship at usalearns.org. Thanks for listening. I know you will be a great American citizen. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.